Hi, so today I'm going to talk about point people, point paints. I was kindly sent um, some bottles of this by one of my followers from Instagram. Thank you so much. It is super cool. Um, for those of you who have not come across this product before, I'm going to tell you all about it. I've just done one shoe already. Um, as you can see in pink um, Dahlia, which is this one here, I've just done one coat on a super old pair that have been trashed even wearing them in the desert. <laughs> um, and I'm really impressed with the coverage I've got so far, so stay tuned for the rest of the video. So let me give you a bit of background information first. Point People are based in Chicago in the USA, as far as I'm aware. They've got a website, pointpeople.com, where you can find all the information out about their products. Plus, of course, they are on social media, where you can see pictures and videos of people that have used this product. Not only does it come in bright colors, but it also comes in a variety of skin tones, um, so that's fantastic for those of you who have to color mine or pancake your shoes to make them matte or to match your skin for performance or class or whatever. So that's also a great option. Um, I did do a video ages ago on my YouTube about dyeing point shoes using Sharpie pens and dyeing on dye, dabbing it on with a sponge. But this method is a lot quicker. Um, obviously, I never knew about this product before. It's fairly new as far as I know. So it's great that this now exists. It will make your life a lot easier. Of course, you can also custom order your Grishko or Nikolai point shoes in different colored satins, um, which is also wonderful. I'm just gonna show you some here. So I have um, a pair of red and a pair of purple. Um, as you can see, when you order them these colors, they come with a satin like that so it's not as messy as dyeing them yourself however with a custom don't forget it does take a little bit of time to get it and of course if you're in a rush um or you want to do it yourself because of course it's fun to dye your own point shoes and this is a fantastic option but i just wanted to throw that in there just so you guys kn knew that it was an option we also now do skin tone options um in some shades at the moment more to possibly come i just thought it's super cool to mention um about their page on their website um about point people and their vision and their mission because i thought it was super cool so i'm going to tell you about it for their vision they say, we want happy and healthy dancers. No dancer should feel inferior because of the color of their skin, the shape of their body or their economic background ever. Their mission, Point People is building products and a community that educate, empower and enrich dancers all over the world. Point People believes in doing good, doing good for yourself and doing good for others. So that's super cool. I really love that. Um, and it gives you detail about Paige, um, all about her, which is wonderful. So point, this point people dye isn't just for point shoes, by the way. You can also use it on slippers, which is wonderful. Um, obviously, canvas slippers, not leather. And the fact that it comes in this lovely little container is wonderful because, look, it has an applicator already built in. It's already got the dye on it because, obviously, I've just done one shoe. But to get this going, what you do is you shake it um, and then you press it on um, a dry cloth and squeeze it to get it going and then it will start to come out. And when you're dabbing it on, I will do a shoe in the moment to show you, but you're basically squeezing and then pushing down and then pushing it across. So easy. Um, I have got it on my fingers, but I did test if it comes off easily and it does. However, you could wear gloves when you're applying it. I do recommend putting some newspaper or something down on the table you're doing it on. I sometimes also stuff my shoes with newspaper so it makes it easier to hold the shoe. Um, you can do it on your ribbons. I probably will dye this pair of ribbons as well um, because I wanted them to match. So that's also super cool. By the way, it is water based. Um, so that's fantastic and it says that the paint will come right off with soap and water which I did test on my hands earlier which is great news um, also they say on the website that unlike other dyeing methods the point paint method does not require garbage bags paint brushes sponges or gloves all you need is to product your shoes and a paper towel to rest the shoe on whilst it's being painted point paint can be applied on one shoe within two to three minutes and dries off within 20 to 30 minutes. Other methods can take up to an hour. Very true. So when I used to use um, dial on dye and dab it on with a sponge, it got super messy, but also it could be quite patchy. And also it would take a good 24, 24 hours to 48 hours for it to dry. 
And some people do the stupid method, which I never recommend. They get the bucket of water, put the dye in, immerse their point shoe in the water of the dye, which as we know, liquids and point shoes don't really mix. So if you're immersing the whole point shoe, you're actually going to shrink it. Um, and it will become too tight to wear, but also you're going to damage the fabric and it's going to become very stiff, which we also don't want. Um, of course, there's other methods like spray paint in your shoes and God knows what else, but they're all not that great. I've tried them. Um, Sharpie pens are not too bad, but they do not give us as best coverage as this does. Um, so if you don't want to wait for your point shoes in a custom order to come in a colour, then I highly recommend this. Um, just done one shoe, of course, and it's looking great, so I'm super impressed. Of course, um, if you're worried about getting it on the sole like this, you can apply tape on your sole so you can get a more even application so you don't go over the sole. Or you can dye the sole as well, if you so desire, um, depending on the sole of your point shoe. Because this is a fabric, this will take the dye very easily. But if you've got a very thick lever, it probably won't take the dye, just so you know. Before I get going, dyeing one of the shoes and showing you how easy it is to do it, I'm just going to go through some of the FAQs on their website. So, will the dye leave any marks on the floor? After the shoe is fully dried, the dye will not leave any marks on the floor. Will the dye change the structure of the point shoe, including shrinking them, like I just spoke about? And they say, as the dye is water-based, it will not change the structure of the shoe. It will not shrink them or change the flexibility of the shoe. And I totally agree with that, which is fantastic. Um, is the dye waterproof? While the dye is not waterproof, it does sustain normal dance-related sweating. Fab, that's great. So, of course, you know, should you be stuck out in the rain on a photo shoot wearing these shoes, maybe you might encounter a problem. But apart from that, you're all good to go. Why are your colour offerings limited? They're working on it, so that's great. They say you can send a picture for your colour that you would like to them. Um, they ship orders within one, to, within one to three business days via USPS. Um, of course, we're in the UK, well, I am, so, um, you know, that can vary. They ship internationally. Um, yeah, great. So simple as that. Um, what I also liked about it was it doesn't have any like really strong smells. In fact, it smells quite nice. Um, you also want to make sure that before you get going that your shoes are dry. Um, of course, you know, as always, I'm sure you have the common sense, but only dye your point shoes if they are a pair that you can dye. Don't go ahead and if you've got one pair of point shoes, for example, that you're wearing for class, check with your teacher that it's OK to dye them. Because, of course, most dance schools, especially if you're a student in training, has a dress code. Um, so, of course, this is great for performances. It's great for old shoes that you want to decorate or it's great for shoes if you need um, a shoe for performance or if you're dyeing your shoes um like a skin tone colour, and of course that's great for class and performance, depending on what you're doing. So yeah, great, let's jump to it. So I have many colours, but I decided to start with um, Dahlia, because um, obviously I love pink, right? So um, here's how we do it. I would have laid paper on my table, but I can wipe it off the marks anyway, but just be aware of where you're doing this. If you wanna wear gloves, you can, but you don't have to, because you can wash it and it will come off your hands, unlike other products. So I've got the shoe. Um, I'm just going to tuck my ribbons in the shoe because it's easier to do that, even though I am going to dye the ribbons. Um, so what we do, when you get it, you're going to obviously have the lid on first of all. Let me just get that lid back on. There we go. You're going to shake it first of all. Then you're going to take the cap off and you're going to dab it because it will look white at first. You're going to dab it on um, a nice um, cloth that's dry. You're going to squeeze. So you're going to give it quite a good squeeze and dab, then it will start to come out. Sometimes it can take a little few squeezes of the bottle to get it really flowing. So don't worry, it will start to flow. Then you can do whatever you like with it, you know, how you apply it. But um, generally speaking, most people do it this way, I've noticed. So we're going to squeeze and dab. As you can see, it's so pigmented. Wow. And then once you've done a few squeezes and dabs, you can start to pull it up the shoe. Of course, I've darned mine, so it is going on the darning, um, but I'm cool with that. And we can, of course, do the drawstring casing. So as you can see, that is super easy. Um, I like to put my hand in the shoe to hold it. Um, look, at the, look at the richness. It's so simple. 
suitable for kids to do this totally because you know it's a waterproof and water based product so there's no nasty stuff in it as you can see that's looking super cool and i like the coverage i like the fact that with this shoe i did earlier i only did one coverage and it's really looking great you can generally i think they say get two pairs of shoes done with one lot and as you can see i've got damaged satin but it's still going over it which is great news don't be afraid to push and be vigorous with it because it can handle it um yeah mm -hmm. as you can see it's looking fantastic so i'm just gonna go ahead and do just doing a quick job obviously you can be more careful with it if you wish and like i said you can put tape here if you don't want to get it on the sole i might even paint the sole to be honest and i love the fact that when you squeeze it you don't you know don't have to keep squeezing it because a lot of product does come out What a great invention, honestly. And to my follower who sent me this, thank you so much, because I'm now gonna be able to decorate so many of my old shoes and hang them up in my fitting room um, for all my customers to see. The smell of it reminds me of Play-Doh for some reason, which is kind of cool. You know it probably does work on elastics as well depending on the fabric um i probably won't dye my elastics but i will do the ribbons with it and what i like about it is the fact that the applicator is nice and large so it gets more surface area done quicker whereas with sharpie pens for example you have to spend more time um and you do depending on the color of sharpie that you use you have to do a lot of layers but you can still sometimes in different lights see the grain of where you've been doing it so you don't you get a bit of patchiness i mean it's still fun to try all the different methods to see what you like and you know do a variety i've got a lot of old shoes so um yeah just need to go over this little bit a bit more And I'm so pleased that it dries fast. That's great. It's also good for people, you know, say if you've got an audition and you need your shoes pancaked because you're not allowed them shiny, um, then using the skin tone colours um, and the fact that it dries quick, that at least you've got always got that option there. And because it's so small to take with you, it's fuss free. And you can clean the tip of the applicator, by the way, by using a damp sponge um, or damp cloth. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead. So to buy this, you can buy it on their website um, and they ship internationally, like I mentioned. There's also retailers that have it. So um, I think they've got a locator on their website so you can find your nearest retailer if you're in the US or Canada. Um, I don't believe anywhere in the UK sells this yet. It's possible that I might be able to stock it, but I'll have to look into the price of it because also I have to be aware that I get hit with customs fees. Um, but if there's enough of you that want it in the UK, let me know in the comments. Um, and of course, I'm happy if I stock it, I'm happy to ship to different parts of Europe and whatever if needed. This is super fun. Um, I 
So it's great how quick it is to do it. The fact that, um, you know, it's not going to take you as long as other methods, which is wonderful if you're in a rush. And, you know, that shoe I did there literally did take me probably five minutes just to do one layer. And the one layer is looking really great coverage. And, of course, you can do as many layers as you wish. I'm now doing the drawstring casing. Obviously, you don't have to if you don't want to. But again, I'm just being very generous with it. Not bothering about the sole this time. Not, don't care if I get it on it, no big deal. Um, yeah, it's looking great. I actually really like how it's taken to the darned edge of my point shoes. By the way, I know the comments I'm going to get. I'm going to get the comment of, when are you doing the new video about how you darn point shoes? It's coming. I've got so many more methods to how I darn point shoes now. It's unbelievable. Um, and there's quite a few videos I could do about it, actually, with different methods. So stay tuned for that. Okay, as you can see, this is looking really great. Look at that coverage. Of course, I've got this rough bit of satin because I wore these in the desert and I actually got stuck to this strange cactus ball and I was on different rocks. So of course this pair um, isn't as smooth in the satin as a newer pair per se, or a pair that hasn't been worn outside on shoots. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna Okay, so now I'm just going to do one of the ribbons just for now, just so I can show you guys how it works um, and see how well it takes. Again, I'm not bothered about getting it over my hands, so be it. It comes off easily, which is wonderful. it's taking extremely well to the ribbons because i wear the ribbons with the stretchy bit in the middle look at that that is superb coverage sometimes i find that doing the ribbons with sharpies looks really streaky um even with dial on dye i've not had incredible success with it um so that's really impressive
so I've I've so I've done one ribbon and I didn't even have to do both sides because it's actually seeped through the other side how awesome is that look how covered it is it's fantastic so yeah um I'll leave that video here and you've got all the information I'll put the links below um but yeah super impressed I will um show you some pictures on my instagram um when they're dry and i'll also do some pictures with them on of course in fact it'd be great to do a photo shoot with them i will do that so yeah um point people gets a thumbs up from me super easy i like the fact you know it's enough in there to do two pairs um and i like the fact that it's mess free you know i can wash my hands it's going to come off woohoo unlike dial on die um yeah check it out and feel free to follow me on all my social media give this channel a subscribe i'll be doing more frequent videos on all different topics and i'll speak to you soon bye